Hey guys, here we at. I am on my bike doing my warm up for the upcoming animal movement routine. So I'll see you all in a minute at the gym where we'll be going through the most goaded of all the animal movement exercises that you can imagine. So if you're ready, I'll see you all in a second. So here we are again with another animal movement session where we're gonna focus on combining strength, mobility and endurance into one singular exercise or workout that you can easily follow along. We're gonna go through each and every one of the movement patterns. I would advise you to try those out maybe once every single day. If you can put aside just 10 to 15 minutes for a short animal movement workout you're gonna see some amazing benefits really really quickly and you're gonna be amazed at how insanely effective those types of trainings are for increasing strength endurance the mind muscle connection coordination and all kinds of different stuff that are really helpful for other types of training so if you're ready we'll get right into it now here's also a list of all the exercises we'll be doing. I want you to guess which of these is going to be the hardest one. You're going to be really surprised and put it in the comments if you are sure about it. And let's start with the frog leap, of course, because this is not only one of my favorites, but one of the most effective ones when it comes to building deep squat mobility, strength and coordination, as well as limbering up and loosening up all those joints and tendons in your lower body, starting at your hips and moving down to your knees and even to your ankles. For this one we want to always bring our hands in between our legs so we have a little bit longer range of motion and extend our backs fully in the jump which moves us to the bear crawl. Now for the bear crawl we have our arms pretty much fully extended. Our back or spine is in a neutral position meaning we don't want to go too much in a flexion or in an extension in our spine but try and stay pretty much neutral and we're using mostly our arms for the strength part of it so basically pushing forward or backwards our legs are pretty much just here to help us a little bit and you can do it either on your fists or on your hands depending on if you have pain or not moving to the dock now the dock is really hard for myself to do it backwards which is why this is the only exercise that I'm doing forward only but you basically want to touch down both knees to the ground before moving to the next step and stay upright in your upper body. Now the ostrich is one of the funniest ones by far. Both legs are fully straightened out, both arms are too and we're basically switching between having our hands and the back of our hands on the ground. Why do we do that? I have no idea but it looks much more like an ostrich than if you would not do it. Also if you speed up the ostrich it's by far one of the funniest things I have ever seen when it comes to exercising so that is pretty much a bonus. You can do that on your own time. So try it out um, keep both legs fully extended which means you're gonna have a little bit of a stretch in your posterior chain which is always a good bonus now we're gonna move on to the horse I have no idea why this is called the horse but I think it is because our butts are basically popping out like a sore thumb with this exercise but you want to stay upright in your upper body the movement comes from your legs and trust me it requires a lot more strength than you expected to because you want to stay basically in a squat position the whole time. Keep your arms and your upper body fully relaxed as basically just moving with your legs outwards. Now we come to the frontal monkey, one of my favorites too. Basically we're gonna do it on our fists and we're gonna stay low with our hips this time. So with the bear crawl we had our hips higher than our shoulders and our head and with the monkey we're gonna keep our hips lower which means instead of having more upper body dominant strength requirements here we have more of the lower body strength requirements because your legs are going to need to do a lot more work for this one to work especially moving backwards also added hip mobility with all the monkeys here we're doing the sideways monkey and this one is amazing for hip mobility because you have internal and external rotation in your hip joints so you can see we're moving 
outwards with our leg and inwards with our leg and doing that on both sides simultaneously. So we have a nice additional hip mobility exercise that you can do at any time and it's also pretty strength dominant when it comes to the legs. As you can see here we need to stay really really low with our hips which moves us to the long monkey I call this one which is basically a sideways monkey movement but instead of keeping our legs bent we always want to extend one fully and what that does is it increases the required mobility in our knee joint in our hip joint as well so we're gonna have a lot more mobility benefits from this exercise too and it is similar to the Cossack squat for instance so if you're working on deep squat mobility if you're working on heavy Cossack squats or side squats this is basically the best exercise you can do to build this mobility now moving on to the sloth and there we are this is by far I find the hardest one when it comes to strength or basically just required strength in the animal movement patterns because for one we want to keep our lower arms on the ground but we do not allow our knees to touch down which means we are in a really uncomfortable position for our upper body if we do not have the mobility and if we do then we require a lot of strength especially pushing backwards as you can see here i'm struggling a little bit even though i've been doing this for a long time but the backwards slough is by far the hardest pattern i have ever done when it comes to animal movements even more so than the one that we're gonna do after this one so keep that in mind and that would be Oh my god, look at this. I'm so exhausted. Anyway, this one would be the lizard. So also basically one of the top three favorites of mine is the lizard. First of all, we have insane rotational mobility in our lumbar spine. That is always great, especially for people who sit down a lot and who do not have too much spinal mobility. This is great. Then we also have a lot of strength requirements, especially again when we're moving backwards. Next up, we have a lot of coordination requirements requirements because you're moving left side with the right side and right side with the left side so basically vice versa and you're also requiring a lot of push strength in your triceps when moving backwards which is amazing Whew. so those were basically just 10 minutes of animal movement i tried to go through all of them without taking a break forward and backward for most of them except for the dot walk because I am not able to coordinate this with my knees and my feet. It's gonna take a little bit of time. But to round this whole thing up, we're gonna do one last single thing, and that is gonna be decompression. So we're just gonna hang, maybe from one arm, hold, the other arm, hold, and we want to decompress every single joint in our body, just relaxing fully, let it pull you down and hold with both hands. Consider this another animal movement in the humanoid monkey category. Just moving left side, moving right side, and decompressing our spine and our shoulders. And with that finished, we are done with another animal movement workout. If you enjoyed this video, Click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow because new videos every day. Captain Cairo, peace out.